The Secret Service is required to provide lifetime protection for present and past presidents of the United States. But if a president is sentenced to serve prison time, what would those protections look like? Right now, it's unclear. Once a far-fetched hypothetical is now the prosecution's preferred outcome in Trump's criminal trial now in progress. While there's no clear answer right now on next steps for the Secret Service if Trump goes to jail, a new bill is looking to change that uncertainty. The bill is called the Disgraced Act, introduced by Congressman Benny Thompson, the former chairman of the January 6th committee. The bill would automatically strip Secret Service protections from anyone who has been convicted of a federal or state felony that carries at least a one-year prison sentence. While Trump's not named in the legislation, this would apply to the former president. And reaction coming from Republican lawmakers and legal analysts is making headlines. Democrats want Donald Trump killed. Dems plan to have Trump murdered in jail. And they want him killed. Trump would be murdered in prison. While there's been criticism coming from people close to Trump's circle, the author of the bill, along with other Democrats, stand by it saying something needs to be on the books to ensure there's not preferential treatment in next steps if Trump is found guilty and becomes a convicted felon. Thompson says it is regrettable that it has come to this, but this previously unthought of scenario could become our reality. It is necessary for us to be prepared and update the law so the American people can be assured that protective status does not translate into special treatment and that those who are sentenced to prison will indeed serve the time required of them. This bill isn't likely going to be the deciding factor since it was introduced in the House where Republicans have the majority. The debate over the bill raises the question, is Secret Service a lifetime protection or a privilege that can be revoked?